Okay, Ted, I'm going to throw another one at you. Uh, I, I started seeing them live in uh, like April or May of 76. And the thing that struck me about them was that there was a very distinct and pronounced progressive rock, a very dark progressive rock aspect to the band. Not completely, but there was that definite aspect to them. There were some songs and odd time signatures. And uh, House of Pain. Yeah, House of Pain. The original House of Pain, Believe Me, there were some other songs. Um, and once the first record came out, I was surprised to see that that was basically all gone. Now, I knew it had been, that sort of material had been phased out prior to the record anyway. But I was wondering what your thoughts were on that particular aspect of Van Halen, that more progressive, darker aspect of the band. Well, they had so many facets to what they did. The brothers used to come to my house on New Year's Eve. I lived right near here, they lived up, just up the street a bit. And uh, I remember one New Year's Eve, Ed had my acoustic guitar on my, my Ramirez, and he was tapping on it. I said, how could you do that you know, without, a, without an amp and a sustain? He said, yeah. So we put that on, it became Spanish Fly. But what I'm going is they always were trying to evolve. And they, they heard things. And also, I liked trying to think of who the guys were, the jazz guys, a lot of jazz, like Jacob Astorius and those guys. And I would turn them on to what I liked, and I'd play them jazz. And then when they got their dad to come up and play on, on the clarinet, we did Big Bad Bills. Dave, it's like a cartoon, you know, the white gloves are doing the stuff. When we did Hot for Teacher, Dave set up little seats in there, and they would sit like they made it into a classroom when we recorded Hot for Teacher, throwing shit around. So they always wanted to live it. But in terms of, they, they were always trying to get to another space, especially Ed, because Ed wanted to do something different all the time, he wanted to keep moving. One of the most creative guys I've ever met in my life. And you know, the other thing is, is I got along with those guys so well. We never once did we have this been in the studio, ever. It was all great because they know what they're doing. And so I think to answer the question, basically I always wanted to do it. Ed and I were going to produce Alan Holdsworth. And uh, we finally got it done, but we had him go up to Ed's house. And we sat down and he said, well, if you guys are going to produce me, the only thing I want is I don't want you in the studio while I'm playing. So we were executive producers. But Ed and I also produced another private life or something like that. I forget who it was. But, Ed was probably the one guy who was always reaching for something else. And I think he liked jazz, you know. 